Hello, I'm here to show you how to gem set. So what you'll need is you'll need your gem setting toolkit, you'll need a mount and a calibrated stone. So we've got the, the ring mount and the stone. We're going to work with the gem setting toolkit. So if we have a look at the tools that we're going to work with, the first thing we're going to see is we're going to work with the clamp. So this is going to absolutely secure the piece of metal that's going to go in here and it means that we're going to have a good grip when we're setting the stone. So that's the clamp. We're also going to work with some gem setting pliers and you can see these have got a special groove in there so we might use those to push the prongs over the stone. We're also going to work with the pusher which you can see we're going to use these to push the prongs as well. There's a little groove in here and that's where the prongs are going to go. We can also use this tool which is a burnisher if we need to push, push the prongs over the stone. This is going to give us a nice finish, so that's the burnisher. Sometimes we might need to use a needle file, so I've got one of those just in case. And then also, just in case we might need to lift the prong, we can use a prong lifter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the, the mount into the clamp so that we've got a good grip here. So it's nice and secure. So I've popped that in the top of the clamp and I'm going to now just screw this together. And this means that I can work on the ring mount so that I've got a good good grip, something slightly larger to hold on to rather than the small delicate mount. So I'm just going to make sure that this is sitting and so it's flat and flush because that's what we want to be thinking about of how the stone is going to sit into the mount. So I'm just tightening that up and again making sure that that really is very very straight. Just take your time and just make sure that that's secure and straight. So if you've got a little bit of blue tack you could use that Pick that up, pick the stone up, I'm just going to pop that in. So what we want to be looking at now is I'm going to look from all the way around, again making sure that it's very, very straight and flat and that it's sat into the seat of the setting really neatly, as you can see here. And absolutely bring it up to your uh, so to eye level. So I'm going to have a look so that I can see and it's looking flat and sitting neatly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to push the prongs towards the stone. So I'm not going to push over yet, I'm just pushing the prongs so that they're coming in contact with the stone. So I'm going to hold my clamp, I'm just going to start to push and working very slowly, small movements, slight angle, and I'm working opposite sides. So the, the pressure is coming on this side. I'm going to push over, turn it round, and I'm going to come to this one. So all I'm doing at the moment is pushing against the stone, not coming over yet pushing it. So this is going to start to secure the stone and because I know that I've moved the prongs so again I'm going to lift it to eye level and check that it's still flat. So now when I'm happy that that is flat I'm actually going to put my finger, my thumb over the stone and I'm just going to start and just push this so it's making closer contact each prong with the stone. I'm just taking my time and what should start to happen is as I'm going around to the opposite prongs the stone will just become more and more secure. So really I try and get into the habit that every time I've done something with the prongs I am going to go again lift it to eye level and check that it hasn't come out of place. So I'm going to bring this down now. So I'm actually now going to swap the tool. I'm going to use my pusher. And this is where we had the groove. So I'm going to put the prong into that groove. I'm going to 
start to push. So again, I'm holding it flat with my thumb and I'll start to push down. It's sort of a rocking motion and moving over the stone. So I worked on this one. So the next one I need to work on is this one here. So I'm going to turn it round and do opposite sides. This will hopefully mean that the stone stays flat and I'm even pressure all around the stone. I work my way around. So I'm now going to go to this next one. I'm going to push over, slightly rocking the prongs over the side of the, the top of the stone. And again, the opposite one. So again, I'm going to push over. I'm really starting now to push that prong so it's going over the top of the stone. I'm working my way around. If you felt at this point that you weren't happy with where the prongs were placed, this is where you could use your prong lifter. And you'd find the right shape, and the right angle, and you can just lift off the prong and take the stone out. So that's where you would use your prong lifter. I'm quite happy with this, so I'm just going to keep pushing over the stone. Pushing down with my thumb and pushing the prongs into place. And again, at this point, I am going to lift it to eye level so that I can see that this is looking. Keep pushing over. This is where what I can start to do is I can use my burnisher to then push the hard metal of the burnisher sort of pushes out the sterling silver. So again, it's pushing it over and flattening it against the stone. So I've worked this one now. I'm going to start over onto the opposite side and that hard steel of the burnisher is pushing the soft silver. And we'll keep working. And what we want to make sure is that those that nothing's going to get under those prongs, that it's got good contact with the stone. So you want threads or your clothing or anything being caught on those prongs. And we keep going. Smooth that silver figure. If you needed to and you felt that the prongs were too long, you could file them off or you could snip them off as well. You're just going to keep working until that silver prong is flattened against the stone. And I'll keep working my way around. And obviously, test that that stone isn't going to fall out anywhere see how this is starting to be secure. So what will happen eventually as we keep burnishing, which is this sort of motion, on all the prongs, what's going to happen is you can see on the finished ring the prongs are really close to the stone and it's nice and secure. You're not likely to pull on anything and you can see the difference in profile. So if I show you from the side you can see how flat those prongs are against the stone and how neat that looks. So you just keep burnishing, keep pushing the prongs so that they're sitting flush against the stone. You can see how flat and lovely that looks. So that really is how you just keep going and pushing it down so that's going to go flatter and flatter and it's going to become secure in the setting. Also actually makes it very, very shiny as well, that burnishing. So it doesn't really matter <clears throat> whether you're working with uh, multi-gems or with earrings, pendants, what, whatever you need to do, even this uh, ring shank, you just need to make sure that it's secure in the ring clamp or in the clamp here and that you can get good access to the setting and the stone. And we can absolutely do the setting in the same way. So that's your gem setting tutorial.